Magistrate Singomat says most of the sexual offenses are committed by family members of the victims. About six out of ten cases that go through his courtroom are committed by the family members of young victims. He adds children as young as four years become victims of their own family members or relatives. In, in, in our courts, especially in my court, committal court, uh, me looking, uh, all offenders are more committing sexual, sex-related offenses. I'm all, all family, about 50 to 60 percent are family members of these very young victims. The trend of the young age group committing sexual offenses as well as serious crimes like robbery is shocking, he says. It has come to the stage where the magistrate is issuing warnings for families to be cautious of their male family members especially children under 18 years. Time only look at him or legally picking me, whether they are guardians or parents, I always must be very careful. I think the police agree with me that offenses of sexual nature have become a plenty. So. The magistrate made these remarks during the opening of a week-long Pekinini witness workshop yesterday. To try to enable these people to uh, be able to engage productively with the children that have suffered this, uh, this trauma, and to get evidence that is admissible to court. The training is funded by the Australian Federal Police. The workshop focuses on interviewing children who have suffered from trauma or assault. Twenty police officers from across Morobe are part of this training. Five detectives from the Queensland Police who are experts in this field are conducting the training. Interviewing children that have suffered from uh, some sort of trauma event uh, some sort of assault is very difficult because it's hard to get the children to talk about this from times. So it takes special skills. Mata Luis, National MTV News, Lay.